Hello everyone, I'm the Monarch of Gold, and today I know exactly what we're doing. If it hasn't become obvious, now here's another hint. It involves the color red. Today, we're doing the single color art challenge, or starting the single color art challenge, because I plan to go through the entire rainbow plus the neutrals. Originally, I wanted to do this where I went from like easiest to hardest, but doing that would require that I organize all of my art materials by color, and I am not doing that. <laughs> not today. We are starting with the color red, and I suppose we're going to go in rainbow color order. So we're doing red. Let's get started. I don't know what I've shown you so far because I haven't started editing the video yet. What I've done so far is I have sketched what I plan to draw. I was really inspired by like 1920s flapper style dancing so I did some thumbnails which I'm sure I'll take some better photos of for you later. I drew her, but then she wound up being way too far left of center, so I put him in in order to fill up some space, and it's worked out very well. I love the way they work together. I don't really know which material I want to start using. I guess we will start with the lighter colors and work our way forward. I kind of want to go ahead and get these kind of not so great watercolors out of the way that would be these two tubes of the artist love watercolor alizarin will probably be better for their blushy bits primary cad probably be good for everything else take a bit of water Mix it in with the paint. Try to have more water than paint. I don't want these guys to appear orange. It's not the worst skin tone I've ever made. Painting very carefully around the eyes. Don't want the whites of her eyes to be orange. Oh my goodness, this is looking excellent already. Uh, hmm. Take a lot of water. Mix with a little alizarin crimson. And then pick this up and put it on her cheeks. Where else can I put it? You can put a little bit on his shirt here. A little bit of her shade here. What else can we work on while we wait for that to dry? What would be good for their hair? I guess the markers. I think I'll use some of the construction paper and foam for the floorboards. This one, which is poppy red from the Blick Studio markers. I might use it here on these sleeves because I want these to look like they're sort of see-through. What's the word for that? Sheer. else do we want to use this? I think I will use some of this in his tie. I'm trying to decide what color I want their hair to be. I kind of want him to look like he's got like actually red hair. Now let's move on to maybe their shoes. I'll give him some one red shoes and I think I want her hair to be this color. The undersides of his shoes can be this color. Yeah, that probably wasn't a great idea. We'll put some poppy red down here on this so that it will 
appear set and you later when you go over it. Go ahead and go over with this color. Still trying to decide what color I want those stripes on his tie to be. Oh, that made his tie prick rip. That really limits my options for what I can make his jacket. To go ahead and put a lighter color for the first layer of his hair. Let's start by doing what we know we want to do, and we know we want to use this carbine. making his pants the poppy color. I think we can go back over his hair with the poppy color. basically done. I don't know what to do about her yet. So shortly after I turned the camera off, I was looking at her feet and realized that like this foot was very wrong. However, it was not a thing that I could fix very easily. So what I have elected to do is to just cover it up with this rhinestone. And so that's just gonna stay. Once I figured out what the rhinestone was going to go to cover up the foot, I filled in the rest of the shape to hide the fact that I messed up that foot and the other one is still there. I'm still trying to decide if I like having that shiny spot on it. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it in. And I took a look at the other video while I was taking my break and I realized that um, you guys are getting a lot of very nice views of the side of my face and head and sorry about that but I've, I've got to see what I'm doing while also trying to make sure that you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. This camera doesn't really want to do a great job of recording the picture or the colors. I'm trying to decide I want to put blush everywhere or just on her cheeks. Yeah, I don't think I've used this red watercolor pencil yet. I think I'm going to use it on her cheeks. That's gonna be way too red. Oopsie. Now I still need to decide what I want to do with her dress.
Okay, we've got our floorboards in. We're going to let those dry before we do anything else to them. I'm still not entirely sure what I want to do with her scarf there. I might take this gold paper and aqua and just fill it in with this. We were still trying to decide what we wanted to do for her dress. It might be fun to do it with a bit of the graphics aqua ink. So why don't we do that before we line it? Let's go back to what our other plan was. And give her some line art. Oh, I know what we can do to fix this. So I've had a bit of a look at this over the last hour or so, and I think for the setting I want this to actually be sort of like a porch or a platform, and they're outside dancing. So then for the backdrop we have a bunch of foliage and leaves and whatever, which would give us more uses for all of the rest of the materials that we have. I kind of want there to be like a fence back here, but maybe you can't quite see all of it. And some at the end of the bottom of that. We've got the top here. There's our fence. So we've got some bushy thingies here. I kind of want there to be like this meandering path. Sort of like this is like the back garden and they're out here dancing. Maybe there's it's like a, a dinner party or something. I want to put a tree back here. Maybe there are trees on the other side of the fence. Could also be fun to have like a lamp post here. Let's start making this happen. We'll begin by giving her the long overdue outline. So I'm gonna take the gold paper aqua down here for the grass. Use the ink for the sky. I 
I suppose the only thing we have left to do is fill in the lamp and the rest of the backdrop, put on the glittery stuff. Okay, then our stones. I suppose we'll take our Posca. Lives right here. So, while that dries, let's start drawing in some bushes with a crayon.
I cannot believe how long this took to make. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm happy with how the floorboards worked out. If you would like to see the final final result of this, then follow me on Instagram. And I suppose that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It does help me out. Um, lets me know that you're enjoying this content. And if you would like to see more content like this, or like the resin video, or other stuff in the future, feel free to subscribe. You can also leave a comment down below telling me what kind of thing you would like to see me do. If you have any ideas, I'm only one brain here, so I can't think of everything all at once. Until next time, be safe, take care, I'll see you later. I forgot to get these out of the way. Oopsie. Oh, okay, I shall know that one again. Alrighty, I am totally ready for this video and absolutely did not have to just cut a whole bunch out of it. That should be all I need for now. But let's that be famous last words. For the record, I just started in the recipe until my hands already.